Romania and Hungary holding up both of their flags. I think that's Romania at least. That could be Chad. They're a little sweaty. Ah, the combined flags make beach ball. Ah, the beautiful island nation of Seychelles. Now we have Malaysia and Somalia. Are you trying to make America? You can tell they're Somalia because they're pirates. Yes, look, I made America. I'm actually pretty sure that's supposed to be the nation of Liberia. Now there's country bowls all around combining their flags and having fun. Oh, look, the real America is about to copy strike Liberia. Also, for some reason, Romania and Hungary are throwing around Seychelles. Ah! I don't think you're playing this game right, China, with Taiwan here. Do we make Thailand or Costa Rica? Asks the Netherlands to Serbia. Flag combined looks fun, says Poland. I want to try that. Now to combine with, uh... Uh, Indonesia. Indonesia, one, two. Oops, sorry, Poland already combined flags. Oh, Indonesia already combined with Monaco, creating Austria. Oh, says Poland in response. It okay, Polska. I just find other country. Uh, there is much country out there to combine. Bind. <laughs> Someone needs to check on Poland, I think. <sighs> Nye, Polska never will combine flag. Why even try? Nye want to combine. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, Poland just made Greenland somehow. But who could they have possibly created Greenland with? This is actually pretty hilarious because the answer is right in front of us. Could it be a Japan ball by any chance? I literally never realized the similarities between Poland, Japan, and Greenland. It's actually kind of beautiful. Finally, Polska has a friend. I love when the country ball universe comes together to combine flags like this. It's kind of like two parents coming together to make a new son. Remember in the country ball universe as well, Poland is is actually drawn upside down, which is why their flag matches Indonesia here. It's just always been done like that. It's like a long tradition. That's one of the more original comics I've seen. Guys, we successfully made an economic European community. Now we have to take care of it, says Germany. Oh, look, it's a little baby European Union ball. I love that these are all six of the original members of the EU. Back in 1957, it really was just these countries until 1973. Now we need to pick who can take care of this baby. I cannot. I have revolution. My tulips are not childproof, says the Netherlands. I'm too busy. No, no, Germany in my country. Vatican already took spot, says Italy. They all can't take care of baby EU. I have idea for compromise, says Germany. To make sure burden is spread to every clay, I have alphabetical list made of order which we take care of baby. Ah, uh, first it's Belgium, then it's Deutschland, then it's France, then it's Italia, then it's Luxembourg, then it's Netherlands. Wait, why he gets to decision of lost war? Shh, it's a good idea. Here's baby EU in Belgium. Welcome home. I'm not really happy have baby stuff to make accommodate, but worry not, we'll into better stuff soon. Meanwhile, baby EU in Germany. Belgium, I cannot into babysit this month. My home is surrounded by communism and I have to move capitals. I love that this panel literally has a divide through it just like Germany did at this time. Remember that they were looking more like this. Oh, look, they're so cute playing with blocks. Okay, I guess, says Belgium in response to Germany. In their defense, I mean, the Berlin Wall is literally being built right in front of them. Here's baby EU in France. Bonjour, Belgi, why you have European Union and not Germany? He couldn't. He had communist excuse. I will have him to talk with him. I'm about post-war situation of his. Ooh, now baby EU is actually speaking words. Baby EU in Italy. I'm a sorry, Belgio. I am really cannot into take. Too worried about Vatican doing bad stuffs to him. What about France? Asks Belgium. He said no too. Please, Belgi. I like that the EU is like learning all the different languages of all the different countries. EU in Luxembourg. Lux, where is you? As they scream on the phone. Oh, I'm sunbathing. It's your turn to take care of the baby. I'm too important for task of so low. Um, I will pay you. Looks and burn. Okay, fine. As they're learning now how to draw money signs. Finally, the last country baby's supposed to go to. Netherlands, you were supposed to take care of him. Oh, he he disconnected. Well, at least they didn't come up with some sort of excuse like all the others, I guess. I mean, at this point, EU Ball and Belgium are spending so much time together that obviously, uh, he kind of has a favorite. I am really disappointed in all of you, says France. How it could be that only I help poor Belgium take care of baby. So, what do you have to say to us? Meanwhile, the baby is not so baby anymore. He's, I guess, a teenager. Uh... I have an idea. Why don't we just pay Belgium to take care of him? Hmm, am think and can agree to this, they say. Grand idea, let's do it. Wonderful, but I don't know if France wants this. <laughs> Do as you wish, and will not end to follow that. Cut to years later. France, 
Please stop making me do this. Hon, hon, hon. Non. Gonna have to move you into the Stratusburg house for a month. Stratusburg? I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. I'm going on strike. See? You're already feeling at home, responds France. There's nothing more French than going on strike. Well, at least Belgium gets a little break for now. Now, I was referring to the European Union here as baby EU ball, but it wasn't called that at this time. It really was referred to at this time as the European Economic Community back in 1957. It would eventually become just the EC, the European Community. Obviously, this is with the addition of Greece, a United Germany, Denmark, the UK, and Ireland. But by 2009, pretty much everything had just become the EU or European Union. It's actually crazy how long it was just six nations, basically for 20 years. Then they really started to grow in the 90s, especially after the collapse of the Soviet Union and the Berlin Wall. By 2004, they had a huge expansion, and then 2007 as well with Romania and Bulgaria. They did lose someone in 2020, though. Funny how the French President Charles de Gaulle vetoed British membership back in 1965. If only he knew. So this is explaining why the EU headquarters is actually in Brussels, Belgium. However, weekly meetings are sometimes in the French city that was mentioned. Also helps just geographically where Belgium is located, right in between France and Germany. Some pretty important members of the EU. What's funny is NATO headquarters is also in Brussels. They're just getting everything out of here, I guess. I really love how educational this was. This drink tastes so good, says Taiwan. I must promote it to everyone. Is that boba? Or in other words, uh, bubble tea. Check this out. I put it on pizza. What the hell, Japan? Not again, says Italy in the background. The Italians have a lot of experience watching people from other countries put things on their pizza they never asked for. New bubble tea order here. Meanwhile, in the US, the wait is like two hours long. I don't know if Taiwan was expecting this sort of popularity. Oh no, it's too late. Scotland is frying things now. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's all over now. I don't think Taiwan truly understood just how popular their little drink would be. Now, fortunately for humanity's sake, the Scottish have not started frying boba just yet, but now I'm a little bit afraid because we just gave them the idea. The Scots will literally fry anything that includes Mars bars, pizza, cheeseburgers. What does that even look like? Why would you even want to eat that, Scotland? It is true, this monstrosity has made it into reality, boba pizza. That looks literally horrible. Why? And apparently Domino's is responsible for it. Dare I say, is this actually worse than pineapple? I feel like I need to try it first. I can confirm I don't like pineapple on pizza. I need to go to Japan immediately to try this. And apparently in the Philippines, they put boba on fries. Okay, yeah, the boba craze has gone way too far. Just wait for the Canadians to throw some syrup on this. That actually doesn't sound that bad though. Like pancakes and boba with syrup. <laughs> Am I weird? That actually doesn't look bad at all. Portugal, how can you afford a computer when you're the poorest country in the world? Espana, that's not true. Look. Oh, he's opening up the Chrome page. Oh yeah, we can confirm they are not technically the poorest on the planet. Um, it's a lot of these countries. Somalia is actually the least money country and cannot into computer. Oh, it seemed I was mistaken as Spain walks away. Meanwhile, in silence, they cry in Portuguese. I love that you can kind of see it behind their eye patch. We actually don't normally see in the country ball universe, Portugal and Spain drawn with eye patches. I feel like that's usually a Slovenia and Slovakia thing. What's messed up about this comic is that it was originally made back in 2016. It seems like for Portugal, a lot of things haven't changed. Is that why a lot of people consider them basically Balkans at this point? Well, luckily for Portugal, it seems like things are starting to look a little bit more up. They had a 10% increase from 2020 to 2021. Oh, but the problem is sometimes they have declines. Portugal has the highest immigration rate as a portion of population in the EU. At least they're expanding their borders. They actually have one of the more interesting exclusive economic zones out here with the seas. Come on, Portugal, I'm rooting for you. It's time to join NATO, says Finland to Sweden. Ruski's gone too far this time. No more delays. <sighs> fine, responds Sweden. Join NATO? You're rich and do what I say. Yeah, whatever. Holds, not until Sweden does the into reasons and perfect, uh, be able to demand whatever turkey. Sweden is contemplating a lot of things inside of their mind. This is actually gonna work out for them. Now they don't have to join. Come on, Funland, or whatever your name was. Time to increase your military spending by 5,000% or so. Whew, that was a close one. Somehow Sweden managed to dodge it. So this is referring to how maybe Sweden didn't actually want to join NATO after all. They were just being peer pressured by their buddy Finland here. Classic Swedish neutrality strikes again. Maybe Sweden and Turkey have actually been working together this whole time. At least according to this comic or something. It's gonna be funny to see if Sweden actually does end up joining NATO at some point. There's still time. My son, it's time to follow your destiny, says Ireland to Ireland. To go to college? To get married? What? No. To leave this freaking country. Oh, here they are joining the 
line to the airport, I, I see. Is it still happening even to this day, even with potatoes? There's actually so many people that have left the country, there's apparently a museum about it. And man, oh man, is it epic. Overall though, Ireland's population has continued to rise since 2010, growing from 4.5 million to now 5 million in 2021. It actually might be catching up to Scotland here soon. Seems like for the most part, they're going to the UK, but also the US, even Australia. Does Ireland have a lot of weebs? It's news to me. It is your destiny. China, plush toy I buy broke. Can you refund the monies? Blame Japan. But it said main in China. Japan, says China again. Japan, plush toy souvenir of China is break and ask for refund. Have refund money 900% of original purchase price. You have a raise of merchandise of a shame to the company. Here they are handing over wads of cash. Wow, responds Poland. They gave me all these things. If only you were more apologetic like Japan. Apologetic like Japan. Apologetic. J J Japan. China, are you still listening? This is referring to the irony that the Japanese companies are oftentimes very apologetic when, I don't know, a product is bad. However, that is the key word there, apologetic. Sometimes Japan likes to apologize for things, sometimes not others. Pretty much anything that has to do with this map right here. I think Japan is still looking for at least a single apology. This is why I make sure that there's always a nice distance between Japan ball and China ball right here. By the way, if you want these guys, there's still links in the description for them. <laughs> we should all be like Japan? In what way? Here we see indigenous North Americans going about their day. These humble people are no stranger to warfare, but the land has balance. But what's this? It seems like curious Europeans have adrifted ashore. Let's see what the North Americans make of their new visitors. Oh dear, those pesky Europeans have taken over the island, subjugated the populace, spread disease, and oofed the buffalo. It's great to see you making nature documentaries again. Keeping your mind active with hobbies will help prevent dementia. I'm actually writing your biography. Oh man, how could this have gone over Canada's head? head so easily. I like how England ball right here is just randomly burning this part of the island. Interesting that there's a Spanish ball included here too. Spain was mostly here south of the US, but uh, there is definitely some relations these two countries had. Oh, I get it. Invasive species, yeah. I guess that's just a theme for the American continents. And big thanks to my patrons. Oh, this is the real Drew. I was kidnapped and that's the Drew's imposter. Argentinian the slow, grandpa. depressing portable Chang and 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 Ralph, the Polish Mexican, his ransom is five fish, and, and why am I doing this? Negro, a royal lane.